Breakfast Television is celebrating its 25th anniversary, and City and WestJet Vacations invite you to share your different Disney sides for a chance to win a five-night vacation for four to the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. All you have to do to enter is go to breakfasttelevision.ca, complete the entry form by submitting a photo of your classic Disney side, and you could be flying away with WestJet to the Walt Disney World Resort for Disney magic and fun. I will be there. Plus, there's going to be a live breakfast television and City Line show in Disney. It's going to be phenomenal. We just got back from shooting on the weekend. And here's the thing. Even if you're a grown-up, you know, three to, I'd say, 103. Mm -hmm. No, maybe like minus three to 103. <laughs> you will have a good time at Disney. It's as fun for the grown-ups as we oh, proved yeah. as it is for the kids. Oh, yeah. And look, I think I gained some weight from eating our way around the at place. At Pot Center. Yeah, we had some great? fun there. Oh, it was a lot of fun. So you will see all of that uh, in our, P our the tape that we shot <laughs> on the weekend coming up. But first, we have to okay. cleanse. Like, let's eat some <laughs> <laughs> vegetables and fruit there's a way you can incorporate into all of your meals right. whether it's breakfast lunch, lunch or, or dinner. dinner yeah and this recipe I'm all about it this is almost like dessert for me well you know what you it can totally double as a dessert but you know the World Health Organization is saying that we should limit our added sugars to six teaspoons a day okay and so I'm really a big fan of unsweetened yogurt and unsweetened breakfast cereal like you know seal cut oats and stuff yeah so how can you sweeten it without adding honey or molasses or anything that you want it's still your body goes sugar yeah now, I, I do a compost with dried fruit so we're gonna do this one this right naturally here. sweetens it it's not yeah because dried fruit is concentrated so there's so much more sugars naturally occurring mm -hmm. it's still got a lot of sugar in it but it's uh, naturally occurring oh, um, okay. okay so we've got orange juice and then we've got some dried apricots that I cut up yeah. and some dry yeah there's a there's a benefit to this too there's a fiber there's my dried prunes Gee, I hadn't even noticed oh, that that was full of fiber jumping Look at all that stuff. and then there's some dry cranberries and then there's four cinnamon sticks you want to bust them in half you're, sure. you're strong break them in half and throw them in there you bring this to a a bit of a, a light boil uh, for 10 minutes, put the lid on, take it off the heat, mm -hmm. and you've got enough for like a week because a one to two tablespoons is all you need. This it smells, smells like, like heaven. heaven. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I know. This is so good. Put it on ice cream. I oh, mean yogurt. yeah. Could you imagine? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Unsweetened ice cream? No, there's no such thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but for breakfast, you can bump it up by putting ground flaxseed and walnuts in, and that's Greek yogurt for the protein. Nice. So you pretty much got a whole bunch of stuff going on in there. Put it uh, in a pretty glass, and you feel like, yeah, oh, celebrating its breakfast. <laughs> Right? You're having dessert for, for breakfast. Yes. Oh, I like that idea. Yes, that's a whole book. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so lunch, There's that's three and a half servings of vegetables. So hummus oh, is a vehicle for eating vegetables. That's yeah. kind of my go-to. I almost eat that every single day. You that's do, how come huh? I have beans every day, yeah, because I pretty much have hummus every day for lunch. Oh. It's easy. I get a whole ton of vegetables. Yeah, I love smart. it. Yeah, smart. That is a smart lunch. Okay, so then moving on. Yeah. Uh, different vegetables, okay? Now, rapini. A lot of people think this tastes awful. It's a bit bitter, it, I It's find. really bitter. It mm -hmm. really, but if you cook it the right way you take away the bitterness oh. so what um, what my well. Italian uh, friends moms showed me was that you bring a pot of water to the boil you rinse this off really well yes. and then you plunge it into the boiling water this isn't boiling use your imagination <laughs> and so blum 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 and it boils for about one to two to three minutes okay and then you drain it and and then chop it up and then it's in a frying pan I've got a little bit of oil in here that I seasoned the pan remember last week if anyone remembered you have yes. to season the season pan, the pan, pan with massaging the, paper towel. the oil in the bottom of the pan Mas don't just Massaging the oil. It. That's so it's an act sexy. Of love. There you go. Okay, so and we're it'll preserve your pan and yeah. have better flavor. Oh my goodness! I listen, I listen to everything, everything you say. say. Everything. I love it. Now, if you, if you don't want garlic to be too in your face, you don't mince it. Okay, so the less oh. finely chopped up, the less uh, strength it has, but you're still getting the health benefits. Oh, good. So you don't okay. want to blow your family up. You know, this is version. <laughs> I mince it up, you know, a lot because I really like it. So, so then do I. you'd I like saute your garlic in there, and then you'd saute your drained rapini, and it doesn't taste bitter. Because and you is it because, because you, boiled you it? leached out some of the bitterness in the oh. water. But the, the thing is that bitterness is an indication of how good it is for you. So you don't want to get, oh. totally get rid of it. Okay, okay. All right. And you left the stocks in and everything, so yeah. take it out. It's yeah. all good for it's you. It's the whole shebang. Okay. Yeah. Do we have enough time for one sure. more? Okay, so I said that kohlrabi was the new cauliflower and cauliflower was the new kale. Right. But people still haven't embraced this. I'm so ahead of my time. Anyway, so <laughs> this is a hello cauliflower. Looks Hi. like a brain. Yes, it's all right. So now now people go, well, what am I having yet? So here's how know, you get, you clean it. Too. Okay, so, well, you can buy these little baby ones. Aren't they adorable? Those are so cute. Oh, what is the point? 
point, though. What do you that's mean? That's not even a meal. That's not that's even a, a side serving. dish. That's a half. You just pick one and you're. Look, I you could. Guess. Uh, oh, it's not pretty. Well, it's, it's very, very pretty. Chef -y. It looks like you got flowers on your plate. That's a good right. thing. Yeah, I like that. I would garden. Think if I got married again. I would have a yes. bouquet of like that stuff. You're not doing it again. No, I'm not. No. That's three. That would be four. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's enough. That's now. enough. This okay. is a paring knife, okay? And mm -hmm. it, it's for little jobs. So you, you go all the way around where the core is like that. Oh. And then this pops off. I'm not even going to show you the, what I usually do with cauliflower. Okay, I've well, never done that. Okay, well then the reason this works is that a lot of people don't want to eat that stock anyway. So yeah. it basically pops off. That's smart. And then you have all these little florets already. The trees. So it's, yeah, they're trees, so okay? My kids call them. And then you can cut them up. And so for this particular recipe, I love it because um, cauliflower... Sometimes people think it tastes like blah, blah or stinky. It's stinky. Yeah, okay, yeah. so this is going to kick it up a notch. So you do the whole head, you'd wash this. I'm not going to, I, I pretend I washed it. Okay. And it's a whole head. And then I found, um, this is a, a really spicy a mayonnaise that's got some Ooh. kick to it. Ooh. I'm into that. Oh, yeah, so I mix it with a little bit of water, and then okay. you pour it over the whole head of, uh, of broc or broccoli, or cauliflower. cauliflower. I mean, you can do this with broccoli, too, though. Oh, yeah, And then you work. toss it to coat it, uh -huh. and then we're going to put on spelt breadcrumbs and spelt breadcrumbs are a whole grain bread mm -hmm. and I just really like them um, it, it, they're, they're fantastic so you sprinkle that all on there and then you dump the whole thing into your baking sheet yeah. and you bake it and it looks like that when it comes out I saw this on your Instagram I did I Instagram and I, it last I night I thought what is she eating that looks so good it was cauliflower <laughs> You fooled yeah, me. That looks really, great. Really yummy. And so if you can get your, encourage your family to eat seven to ten, and just yeah. think about the numbers. Like count up how many servings you had yesterday. Right. You know, based on what our serving size was. I, I do this in my talks and I would say. Do it for the week. Do it, no, and, and try every day to just get one more to your list. Oh, I see. Because seven to okay. ten, most Canadians only get three. Oh, no. We're so low, okay. so low. So get more. More uh, is better. For the audience now, yes. McCormick Canada has released their 2015 flavor forecast. So everyone cool. in the audience will take home a prize pack with a selection of spices and flavors so good oh, for your heart yeah. and we'll be drawing for a McCormick Saver gift pack filled with what you need to bring the flavor forecast home.